Hello all, welcome back. In this video, we'll see the implementation of infix to postfix expression conversion in Java. Uh, in the previous video, we already discussed about the rules for infix to postfix conversion. So based on that, we'll see how we can write a code for uh, this conversion in Java. Uh, first, I'll go with that uh, functions like checking whether the character you are scanning is operator or operand. Okay, so in order to find the scan character is an operator or is an operand, then um, uh, for that we'll have this functions. Okay, here you can see I have written the is operator function. First function is is operator. That is to check whether the scanned character. Okay, here is a scan character. That character is operator or not. You are checking that. And if it is an operator, it will return a boolean value. So here you can see the return type I use. That is boolean which returns either true or false okay if the character you scanned is operator then it should return true otherwise it should return false so for that you are writing a condition here so what you're going to check you are checking the character okay you're checking the character c the scanned character c first you're checking whether it is operator plus if it is plus or see see you are using or symbol it can be plus or if it is minus or if it is multiplication or division or exponential if any of these operators are um, like are in the scanned character then it should return what true okay then that uh, those are all considered as operators so it should return true otherwise it should return false this is the function for checking is operator and the next function is to check whether the character is operand so what is an operand operand can be any numerical value between 0 to 9 or it can be a variable like uh, from a to z that is from small letter a to small letter z and in the same way capital a to capital z so how do we check that condition and uh, for again we are using if condition inside if condition whether the scan character is greater than or equal to a that is small case a and okay and the character is less than or equal to small letter z which means the character is between like from a to z okay if anything is there then we can say it is an operand and again one more condition if not small case then you are checking for the capital case okay c character is greater than or equal to capital a and c is less than or equal to capital z or what is the other condition it can be a numerical value right ranging from 0 to 9 so you are checking whether the c is greater than or equal to 0 and c is less than or equal to 9 if any of this case is true okay if any of this case is true then it should return true which means this is an operand okay if it is not satisfying if the condition fails then it should return false and the next function is to get the precedence of the operator so we have one more rule that when the scan character is an operator we need to check for the precedence right so how do we check precedence how do we assign precedence for the operator for that here we have uh, used the switch case okay so in the switch case i'm passing input as my operator so whatever operator you scanned okay whatever the operator you scan that will be passed as the parameter input for this switch case okay option for the switch case if uh, like the operator is plus okay then it will come to case plus right if the operator is minus then it comes to case minus same way whatever the operator you are scanning that will come to its respective cases now coming to assigning precedence so how do we assign precedence for it usually you are going to check the condition whether the new operator precedence is greater than the operator that is present in the stack so for checking this precedent here i am using some numerical values i am assigning numerical values as the priorities so whatever the operator that is having higher priority i am assigning higher value for that Okay, and whatever the operator that is having the lowest priority, I'm assigning lower precedence for that, lower priority for that. Okay, you can see plus and minus both has same priority as well as these two operators has the lowest priority, right? So for that reason, for both case one, sorry, case plus and case minus, for both the cases, I'm returning one common. Okay, so coming to the next cases, that is case star and case division. When you take multiplication and division, both has same priority. Right? So same precedence for that reason for the star and division I'm returning value 2 okay which is greater than this precedence okay so I'm returning 2 then coming to the next case exponential that has the highest precedence compared to the other operators so here I'm returning 3 which is the highest value compared to these two values okay in the other case if you don't have these operators like if you don't have all these if you're uh, having any other operator then you have used the default case where it will not return like it will return minus 1 right 
so this is how you are assigning precedence to the operators okay so plus and minus since they are having equal priority both has the same precedence that is one and multiplication and division has same priority two and exponential has same priority three which is the uh, like highest priority among other operators here comes the actual infix to postfix conversion okay the function for infix to postfix conversion for that first you should remember all the rules which we discussed when we solve the problem okay so here i have this rule along with this so with this rule we'll just uh, discuss how this uh, code like how the code can be written first what you are doing in this function see when you are going to uh, do conversion what are all the uh, like a prerequisite for that what what do you need for doing conversions so from this table you can see we need a stack okay which is used to hold the operators and we need one postfix expression which is to hold the expression okay whatever the expression it is a uh, like a prefix or postfix whatever but we need some expression right in order to store all these expression in it so you need stack as well as you need some expression and this expression should be of type string because you are storing the string data here so it should be of type string coming to stack see how you, how you are storing the operators into the stack right and you will be given with the input and that input is your infix expression okay with all these uh, things we are going to implement the code and in here you can see we are passing input okay this is the input which is of type string so this is the infix expression okay that is passed as the input and for this what do we need like for conversions what do we need we need a post -ex postfix expression of type string again okay here i have taken the type string builder so the difference between string and string builder is string is an immutable whereas string builder is mutable okay so here i have taken a mutable string type which is postfix expression where i'm going to store my postfix expression okay so this is first statement and coming to the second statement i need a stack okay so i'm creating a stack right and i'm allocating memory for that stack because with the stack only we are going to perform the conversion right so after this now what you are doing in this for loop okay if you look at this for loop you can see see what i have done this is infix expression this is the input which is of type string see our first rule of conversion is we need to scan the infix expression from left to right character by character okay which is of string type it is already in string type but you need to scan it character by character so for that you need to convert the string into character first okay so for converting the string into character array see here is the method we have written to convert this infix expression of type string into character array okay dot to char array which means the string is now converted to character and every time when you are converting the character each character will be stored into this variable called c which is of type char okay so first uh, like whatever the first character you have in your infix expression okay in your infix expression let us take uh, this is uh, my infix expression first this character okay this is stored completely a string now i'm trying to convert it into character array so in that character array this first character will be stored into this char c okay initially and for that see this will happen iteratively for that reason i have used for loop here okay for each now what you are checking first character you scanned the first character okay now you are taking first character and you need to check this character what is this character what is the scanned character whether it is an operator or whether it is an operand or whether it is open braces or whether it is closed braces you need to check all the possibilities right so that is a condition you are checking here first you are checking whether if okay this character the first character you scanned c okay character c is operand you are checking whether it is operand okay if it is an operand then what you need to do you need to append that character to postfix expression okay so we have sorry here i have taken postfix expression make it as postfix okay what you are doing so if the character you scanned is operand then what is the rule you need to append that operand into the postfix expression that is what the rule says right same way here you have written code as it is if it is operand you need to append that to the postfix expression what you are appending you are appending that character right and what is the second case what is the second rule we checked we checked the second rule whether the character you scanned is open parenthesis so you here in this if condition see if this is true this will happen else 
again you are checking one more condition if the character you scanned is equal to equal to open parenthesis what if it is open parenthesis i told you when it is open parenthesis directly push it into the stack here we are not going to check for any condition when the character is open parenthesis so that's what written here stack dot you are pushing it into the stack so what is my stack my stack is stack here the name of the stack i used here is stack again so stack dot what i'm doing push operation so what i'm pushing whatever the character i scan that character should be pushed into the stack if it is open parenthesis okay this is next condition and if it is not open parenthesis okay we need to check whether it is close parenthesis so else if you are checking close parenthesis and what is the rule if it is close parenthesis i told you if it is close parenthesis the rule is we need to pop all the elements from the stack okay all the elements from the stack whatever the operators are present in the stack mm -hmm. that should be popped out until where until it reaches open parenthesis okay if the scanned character is close parenthesis you need to pop the elements present between the open parenthesis and close parenthesis right so that is what the condition and one more thing you are not just going to pop but also the popped element should be pushed into the uh, sorry added into the post fix expression okay you need to do two things one is popping out from the stack and that popped element should be added to the post fix expression so you are doing two operations so that is what you have done here see if you see this line okay this statement in this statement the like you are popping out the element from the stack okay if you find close parenthesis then you need to do pop operation on the stack after you did pop operation the popped element should be appended with the post fix expression okay that is what written here and when until when you need to do all this until when you need to do all these things until you find open parenthesis in the stack so for that here we have written a while loop okay what you are checking in the while loop your stack should not be empty okay first condition is your stack should not be empty and what is the next condition you are checking the top of the stack is open parenthesis you see here i am using peak function what is the purpose of peak function it returns the top of the stack so in that stack you are finding the top of the stack and the top of the stack shouldn't be equal to open parenthesis if it is not equal to open parenthesis and if your stack is not empty then you are performing this operation okay once your stack becomes empty or once this peak like the top of the stack is equal to close like open parenthesis then you are not going to perform this operation okay that is what for this condition if condition right and uh, you can see here until it reaches this open parenthesis i'm going to pop and then open but i'm not going to pop this open parenthesis when it reaches open parenthesis when the stack top becomes open parenthesis i need to stop this process okay after that you will be removing this open parenthesis from the stack because we don't need this open parenthesis later see in this stack okay for example first i have i like inserted open parenthesis and then i inserted plus now i got close parenthesis so here i'm closing close parenthesis once i found clo close parenthesis what i need to do i need to pop all the operators in between this open and close parenthesis so i need to pop out plus and i should append it with the post fix expression until where until it reaches open parenthesis and if you see here in uh, both in the like uh, post fix expression i am not going to add this open and close parenthesis also after popping out this my stack will also don't contain this open and close parenthesis once i pop out this plus right so that is the reason you are doing it until it reaches so this open parenthesis and Uh, you have done all this after if you find open parenthesis what you are doing this open parenthesis should also be popped out from the stack but it shouldn't be appended to the post fix expression so for that reason again i have given one more statement where i'm doing the pop operation on the top of the stack which is open parenthesis i'm just popping out open parenthesis but i'm not going to add it in the post fix expression that is why it's not given here instead it is given as a separate statement okay this is for this condition and what is the next rule we have seen so if the op like if the character you scanned is not operand is not open parenthesis is not close parenthesis then what it could be it could be an operator so if it is an operator okay if the scanned character is an operator what you will basically do you will compare this operator new operator with the stack operator which is at the top of the stack which is present at the top of the stack so you will compare that then you will check whether the new operator is having greater precedence if it has greater precedence what you will do directly you will push that new operator into the stack otherwise if it has lesser precedence or equal precedence what you will do so you will pop the top of the stack and you will append it to the 
prefix expression again so if you check this condition in this statement i have done the same thing if it is operator what i am doing if it is operator i am checking the condition i am checking the precedence of the character precedence of the new character is less than or equal to precedence of the operator that is present at the top of the stack okay here stack dot peak because peak returns the top of the stack so you are checking the precedence of this new scanned character and the precedence of the top of the stack character that is uh, the uh, operator present at the top of the stack if it is less than or equal to what we need to do we need to pop the top of the stack and should be appended with the postfix expression so that is what i have done here just pop the top of the stack and this should be happened with the postfix expression until when you are doing until your stack is not empty until the precedence is less than or equal to the precedence of the top of the stack okay so until this both conditions become false you are going to do this process repeatedly that's why it's given inside the while loop right so once it is done right once it is done again what you need to do so you need to check like if the operator's precedence okay it is not uh, like it is not satisfying this condition which means mm -hmm. the precedence of new operator is greater than the precedence of the stack operator okay existing operator in that case what we will do we will push that character into the stack so that's what i have given here if this is not satisfying the condition if this becomes false then this statement will get executed so we will not do pop operation instead we will do push operation okay if the precedence is greater than right that is all the last statement and then our process will not stop there itself okay after that again what you need to check i told you once you scanned all the characters okay then you need to check for the stack whether the stack is empty or not if it is not empty pop out the elements from the stack until your stack becomes empty empty okay and all those popped element should be added to the postfix expression so that's what given in this loop okay you can see while loop uh, i'm going to perform like why uh, i'm going to do this execute this block of statements until this condition becomes false so what is the condition you are checking you are checking whether your stack is not empty if stack is not empty then what you will do you will pop the element from the stack and that element should be added to the postfix expression so until your stack becomes empty you are going to do this process repeatedly so once the stack becomes empty this will not get executed this statement this block will not get executed so at last you will you will find the postfix expression and in the last statement you are going to return that postfix expression but before that you what you are doing here you are converting that expression to two string because the infix expression is of string right and when you take the input what you did is you converted that string input into character array so now everything is in character array so for that reason what you are doing again you are converting your postfix expression into string so that is the reason you are using dot to string so this is what the implementation of infix to postfix expression by using java